Welcome to this presentation about move instruction in assembly programming. The move instruction used to copy data from one location to another inside the CPU. The format of this instruction is move, destination, comma, source. The source operand it will copy the data to the destination operand by using move instruction. Destination and source operand should be same size. That's mean if the destination is 8-bit, the source operand should be 8-bit also. And if the destination operand is 16-bit, the source operand should be 16-bit also. Destination operand can be register or memory. Source operand can be register, memory, or immediate. Immediate value, that means the hex value. When the destination operand is register, the source operand can be register, memory, or immediate. The immediate value can be source to register except segment registers. We mean CS, DS, ES, and SS. If the destination operand is memory, the source operand can be only register. It's not allowed to move data from memory to memory and from immediate to memory. Now, let's take some examples to understand how move instruction work. The first instruction is move FF5 in hexa to AX register. Now, the AX register value, it will be FF in A low and 5, 0 in A high. There is no another value here. That means we will put 0. Because AX register has 2 bytes and each byte has two digits from hexa number. The next instruction is move AX value to CX. Now, the value of CX register will be same AX value. CX equal to FF and 50. Next instruction, move a high to B low. What's the value of A high? This is the value of A high. It's 5. Now, according to the instruction, move A high to B low. The value of B low, it will be 5. What about the value of B high? We don't know what's the value of B high. And we can say we don't care about this value. Maybe there is previous value in B high, but it's not related to our code. Move 00, zero to AL. Now the value of AL is FF. This instruction, it will change the value of AL, but A high, it will stay same. Now, the value of AX, it will be 0, 0 in A low, and A high, it will stay 5. Move E0 to B high. Now, the last value for BX, it was 5, 0 in AL and don't care in B high. Now the value of B high it will change to E. The value of BX it will be 5 in B low and E in B high. Move B high to A high. That means copy the value of B high to A high. Now, what's the value of AX here? Yes, very good. It will be 0, 0 in A low and E in A high. 
because we copy the value of V high to A high. Move AX to CX. 16 bit to 16 bit. Now the value of CX should be same AX. Let's see what's the last change on AX value. This is the last value for AX register. That means CX value it will be 0, 0, E, and, A, and C high. Sorry. Now, if the question is, what's the last value for uh, AX, BX, and CX? The value of each register is according to the change happen when we execute the instructions. Yeah. Now, the AX value according to the last change is 0 E. And the BX register 5 E. And CX register value is 0 E.